Hey everyone, it's uh, Twitchy here. Um, I'm just going to show you how to set up the quest system and get your first quest running. So, anyway, let's get started. So, first of all, you should have the Lua 51 DLL and the Lua Interface DLL in your main T-Shock folder. And then, going to the server plugins folder, you should have quest system Lua.dll. And then if I just delete this folder quickly, when you start terrariaserver.exe, it should create a quest folder, like it has done here. So that's all we need for now there. Now if we go to the quest folder and we create a right click, go new, text document, and give it the name test.config. And it will say, that if you change it might become unusable, just change it anyway. And then you'll need to open it. You'll need to go open with, and yes I'm using Windows 8 so this may look a bit different. But you go open with notepad, and then you've got this. Now what you need to do, I've just got all the settings here that you need to type in. So we'll give it name, colon, test, max attempt uh, zero because we max attempts means that you can only do that quest a certain amount of times so if you set it to zero it will be unlimited then what you need to do is min quests needed um, zero because this will be yeah this will be the f first quest that you do uh, amount of players at a time. Uh, we'll set that to uh, one. So that means that only one person can be doing the quest at a time. So you just save that and then we need to close that. And now we go new text document again, but this time call it test.lua. Just like that. We'll click yes again and it will become a Lua file. Now, when I open it this time, um, I'm opening it with a Lua editing program, but you can use uh, you can use Notepad if you want. I just like this for the syntax highlighting. Anyway, this will load, and we can just make that smaller. Move that over there. So this is what we've got. So We've got all our files set up in the quest folder. Now we actually need to script the quest. So first of all, I'll start the server. And load a map. Then I'll go into Terraria. And excuse me if this is a bit laggy. Actually, I'll pause it for a second and come back and just change a couple of things on my computer. Right, so I'm back now. I just had to turn on a couple of things to make it go a bit faster. Anyway, um, so we're going to go into the server. C3 testing. And so, first of all, the th first thing we need to do is script the quest. So what we're going to do is we're going to make it so you need to mine some iron ore. That was the mine quest that I show. So first of all, in the Lua edit, you're going to go private, so a private message to the player, um, collect uh, 20 iron ore. And then you put a comma and type in player. Now player is just so it sends to the player who started the quest. And then you need to put an, a semicolon there to end that line. Then what you need to do is go here and we'll, we'll drop down into my little mine area that I've already made up and we will get the coordinates of this position right here. So type in get chords and it will send you the coordinates. So we've got x2089 and y291. So what we need to do here is go repeat until at x Y two oh eight nine two nine one player. 
So what this does here is it keeps looping until the player is at these coordinates. But what we'll also do is give it a radius of like 4. So it means that the player doesn't have to be exactly at this position. Which is kind of handy if you know, you've got like a race game or something like that. Anyway, um, so what we need to do then is go... Oh, hold on, I just need to go and find out what function this is. Just pausing. Right, so now I've just got my um, functions list opened up. So what what the thing that we want is go collect item, which is this one here. And basically that waits until the player has a certain amount of that item. So anyway, we'll go go collect, gosh, item, um, iron ore. And it would be good if you can type it out, the name out properly, just to stop it from coming up with the errors. Um, amount is 20 there yeah. and which player we want to collect the items which is player of course um, and that means that it will wait until you've collected iron ore so if we just get some iron ore yes I luckily have some in my inventory um, we'll place them around this area a bit and Just make it look a bit realistic. Right, so anyway, we've placed mine ore. Then, so once it's done that, we want it to say we have the iron ore. Or return home. Then we would go send it to player. And now we will go back to the house. And when we're here, we want it we want to get first of all get our coordinates and go uh, repeat until at XY. 2102 254 player. So we'll wait until they're back at the home and we'll send a private message. Um, no, actually, we won't send a private message. We will go um, take item. So take item, first of all, sends them a message saying um, we need you to drop this. So first of all, we'll write the quest name. So the quest name's test. Um, that's the first parameter here, see string quest name, and we need item name, which is iron ore, and then we need amount, so that's 20, and player, and that will, and then we'll just finish off by sending them a message, quest complete. Okay, so that is our script. So first of all, it will tell them we need to collect 20 iron ore. It will wait until we're down at the mine. It will tell it will wait until they've collected the 20 iron ore. It will say that we've collected the iron ore, and then it will wait until we're back at the home, and we'll make it have a little bit of a radius. Um, we will wait until they've dropped all the iron ore, and then we'll say quest complete. So if we save that and close. I oh, will just minimize it for now. And then if we go reload um, quest data. Now what that does is it... Oh, hold on, I need to log in first. Um, reload quest data. So what that does, I don't have a confirmation message for it yet, but I will. Um, it, goes, it goes through into your quest folder. It loads all that in. And if there's stuff in the database as well, it will load that. So... Next, what we need to do is set up a... Oh, we're at nine minutes, okay. Next, what we need to do is set up a region that the quests can be taken from. This will change in the later versions. We'll have a command for that where you can give it to players and stuff. But for now, we'll just set up a region. So we use region set one. 
hit the top point so it set that and then what we need to do is set point 2 region set 2 okay and then what we need to do is quest r define uh, and we'll give it the name test for now I oh, know we'll give it quests okay so we're defining so added new quest region quests and then it notifies us that we're actually in the quest region by saying entered quest region quests so that's handy then what we need to do is go quest r add and then the region name which is quests and the t the quest name which is test it's a mouthful anyway press enter so it's added quest test to the quest region quests so now we've got that in our quest region and that's available when we use list quests so if I just quickly show you something that that's popped up in the database if we I'm just using a database browser here if we go to quest regions and have a look at that you can see that the region names quests uh, it's got quests test and then you can change what the entry and exit message is so if we actually look at that we can change this to something else so we'll, we'll call it we'll act like a quest dealer is talking to you so we'll have quest dealer um, what's he going to say going to say welcome then go apply changes same here just for the exit one quest dealer have a good day Apply changes, save. You gotta remember to save the database or else it might stuff up. Um, we'll just minimize that and go reload quest data. So now when we exit the house, it says quest dealer, have a good day. And when we enter, quest dealer, welcome. And that will do that automatically for you. So next what we can do is go list quests and it says available te quest test use start quest quest name to begin that quest so we're going to go start quest test so collect 20 iron ore so what we're going to do is go down quest dealer says goodbye goodbye quest dealer and now we need to collect 20 iron ore so let me do this quickly okay anyway I already had some iron ore so we have the iron ore return home um, so, that's right I have rocket boots um, and then we're gonna go in please drop 20 iron ores the excess will be returned and so I dropped it uh, returned one iron ore and said quest complete and it's just as easy as that and that is how you create a basic quest and then go through and do more functions like you can use sleep which is kind of handy if you wanted to say make a uh, a rotating block where it would yeah you can you can figure out everything out you can use tile edit to add tiles and you can use spawn mobs you can use kill which waits until a player kills an NPC with the name that you gave it and then it moves on um, you can do a whole bunch of things um, so I will definitely be adding more updates in the future but um, for now this is what you got and please, please